December this year, we will have a rare thing happening in Brussels, and that is we will be having a, a summit that is dedicated to the questions of security and defense at the EU level. Heads of state and government meeting there to talk about this. It's the first time in years that this happens, and it's something that you know us and the community um, have long been waiting for. And now the question is, what can we realistically expect from this thing to happen? Um, security and defense, the military aspect of foreign policy is something that the EU is notoriously very weak on and where it's also divided. Member states don't see eye to eye uh, on where the EU should developing as a security um, actor. And um, this has been simmering for a long, long time. Um, and now for the first time, they really look at it in a more concerted way. And what this means is, that Brussels, the machinery, the council, the commission, everybody there is now, you know, starting to think about this stuff. One of the fundamental problems within the EU uh, as a defense player is that we don't have a cohesive kind of outlook on the world. Our threat assessments differ greatly. Our levels of ambition differ greatly. And in order to at least make a little bit of progress on that side, what I'd suggest is streamline the kind of analytical tools that the EU has. Um, the op centers, the um, strategic foresight units, the, the, the policy planning units, they're all scattered and you know between different uh, institutions and so on and so forth. This cannot be um, addressed entirely. Some of it will have to remain the way it is, but we need to streamline it more so that we create a shared view on the world and a shared threat assessment on which we can then base a proper defense debate. So you have three players in Europe neither of which is really leading. And that's a combination that you know leads to a, a big vacuum. Not much leadership is coming out of Europe. And that must change very, very soon, because you know world history is not waiting for the Europeans to get their act together.